Hello, my fellow Saggies. I hope you guys are having a wonderful month of March. Thank you for coming to my channel, Indigo Goddess 1111. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius, for the week of March 6th through the 13th, 2018. So let's go ahead and get started. This will not resonate with everybody, so take what you want, leave what you don't. And as always, this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a the King of Pentacles. Um, Earth sign, uh, possibly Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, does not have to be those signs. It is just somebody who um, takes on the energy of somebody who's grounded. Somebody who is financially secure, takes good care of their family, um, takes is a good dad. Um, so don't um, get hung up on the signs necessarily. Um, and this is about the energy. Um, you are working hard on yourself, Saggies. You are working hard to heal from um, this heartache that this pinnacle, King of Pentacles has caused or um, from heartaches of past before that so you can get this King of Pentacles back. Um, in your future or in your past, you carried a heavy burden on your shoulders. Uh, you, you had a lot to deal with with this person. Um, they hurt you a lot in the past. You mourned the loss of this person. Um, this is a twin flame connection. So if you are in the journey, this message is uh, for you. Okay. Um, they just took off on you. They really hurt you. You thought they were going to give you so much more than what they did. But what they did is they took your heart and walked away without any explanation, just cutting you off. What is their future or their crowning card, please? Yeah, and there's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this really threw you for a loop. Um, it turned your world upside down. It caused instability. It caused emotional heartache. It caused um, you to be insecure, self-conscious. Um, you didn't want to deal with the world. You didn't want to get out of bed. You didn't want to you know, take care of the kids. You didn't want to do anything. Um, because you just felt empty. You felt like there was nobody else you wanted to spend your time with, but this person and, and they just left you. They left you high and dry. You feel, but you are, that is over. You are, um, you are over this heartache. You have healed. Um, this card fell out on the side. So you are waiting for this person. You are wait, waiting for your emperor because you want to be his empress. You want to sit on that crown next to him. And in the future, he is going to come back um, to you. Uh, that's awesome. I was just saying he was going to come back. This emperor will be moving towards you um, very soon. Because you healed all this, and then you refused to um, give up on this connection, even though they turned your whole world upside down and hurt you tremendously, leaving you with all these burdens. You know what this person can be, and um, oh my gosh, look at all this major arcana. And you want a committed relationship, so they are going to move towards you to a committed relationship, but I am getting they need to end a current relationship with possibly another earth sign. Any other messages for Saggy's spirit for the week of March 6th? So, oh my gosh, and look at there. There's your Empress card. And it was right, the Two of Cups was right there as well. Um, hello, can we say Soulmate, Twin Flame? That was what was where I uh, split the deck. So yeah, you are... I gotta clarify some of this major arcana here. Why is the emperor here? What do you, what do you want them to know about the emperor and their future? And these are all in your future. Um, these five cards off to the side. So yeah, he is working hard, just as hard to get towards you as you are to him. Look at that, the eight of pentacles on both sides. Why is the chariot here? He is going to come to you with six of swords in reverse. 
He never gave up on this connection either. And he's going to come to you. The Six of Swords is movement um, to calmer waters with emotional baggage. He is coming to you because a major arcana trumps the minor arcana. So he is moving towards you single and baggage free. Hallelujah, right? Why is the hair right here? Beautiful reading, Sagis. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, he's ending a committed relationship as we speak. Or she. It can go either way. Um, I just say he because it's a guy in the card. Um, third parties are coming to an end. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. Look at all this major arcana. Okay, so he's ending third parties um, so he can move forward with you. Um, the emperor and the empress are both in your future. Um, okay, this goes with that. Okay. So, um, yeah, in the past, he made the choice not to move forward with you. He wanted to be with this other person and that is now ending. Um, because he wants a commitment with the emperor, the empress. When the emperor and empress both come out in a reading, I automatically know that they are choosing each other. Either one is out of balance or they're vibrating at a different level. But once they become that um, equal vibration, they will come together. The emperor and the empress are the highest couple in the deck. And then it's being clarified with the commitment card. Um, and the commitment card is being clarified with the third party. The other, the third party was the one that got chose, but when they're both in the lover's position in the um, reverse, it is clarifying to me that that relationship is ending and they are moving towards you. They do, however, have a codependency or their current partner has a dependency on them. Um, I'm getting financially, um, and that is what is holding them back. There's the King of Pentacles again. This is definite earth sign energy. Um, like I said, they don't necessarily have to be an earth sign, but they are definitely an earth side energy. They take on those, um, look at, there's a 10 of wands again. Um, they take on those attributes, those qualities. Um, this is what flew out of the deck just now. And spirit wants me to take them all. So let me see what we got here. Okay, so, sorry, that's awfully close to the camera. Okay, so you are patiently waiting for your ships to come in. You know that you deserve this. You know how hard you have worked to heal and to bring this person back to you. They are moving forward this week. They may, if they are not moving physically, they are making plans. They know it's you that they want to be with. They are moving forward. They are moving away from this commitment they're in right now. And they are moving towards a more spiritually guided um, relationship. It moves slow. Um, that's an earth energy, but they are coming in offering you something tangible. Um, you guys are the bo both night energy. Um, so when you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is slow, and the Knight of Wands, which is fast, um, this has definitely been a long haul because the Knight of Wands is in reverse. Definitely slow. They have taken their time. They have thought about it. They have planned, like I said, earth sign energy. They have planned. They have made new plans, replanned, whatever. But they are moving forward. And this is certain because the Wheel of Fortune is here. And good karma is turning in your favor. So whatever you wished for, it will it will soon be yours. Because they are moving towards you, Sagis. Awesome, awesome. That is so amazing. So happy for you guys. Um, like I said, and I've been saying, March is going to be a huge, huge month. Big changes. Big reunions. Um, positive unions, like it's just going to be an amazing month as long as everybody, um, keeps on track, keeps on schedule with the divine because divine timing is here for a group of you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations for me. This, um, with this reading, I'm getting that, um, not necessarily the person, but the way the relationship has evolved. Like to you, you would think, okay, well, you know, to make a successful relationship, we have to have A, B, and C. 
to where, in that order, to where your soulmate may be like, all right, well, here's C, I'll be back with A, and um, I'll try not to forget B. So, like, you think it should be just a certain way. Your expectations um, of that relationship are not um, going to follow suit because nothing about the twin flame connection is traditional. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Everybody thinks influenced is something bad. This is a positive influence. You are both spiritually connected. You both know the connection. You both get the connection. And that is why you. it is so influenced. This relationship is so spiritually guided. And it is beautiful. So this is a positive card. Let your friends help. Um... So, yeah, if you need help getting out of your current relationship, getting out of this uh, spot you're in, this feeling of stuck, ask your friends for help. But more importantly, ask your angels for help. Um, your angels do not come in and help unless you ask for them. So um, pray to your angels. Ask them to come into your life and help because um, as soon as you heal and your angels will help you heal, this relationship is coming to you and it is going to ascend to a higher level of commitment. So that is what I have for the week of March 6th, Saggies. Um, exciting, exciting time for everybody and you guys are no exception. So um, just uh, prepare, be healed, be balanced and um, make sure you're showing that unconditional love that you have for your twins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I will see you next time as always. I'm sending you love and light and God bless.